Now joining us for Roadrunner Sports is Kevin Hall. Kevin, the new athletic fields look like they're coming together nicely. Recently, the RMAC had their Hall of Fame induction ceremony and former Metro State basketball star Mark Worthington was one of those inducted. Worthington, a four-year player and national champion, was one of ten inductees this past weekend and he joins a plethora of former Roadrunners including his former coach Mike Dunlap who was inducted a few years ago. Worthington spoke on joining the Hall and his time here at Metro. Anyone who did four years under Coach Dunlap probably de deserves an award. Uh, <laughs> But that's the sort of person and the expectations he had on us as humans. Uh, he didn't want us just to be great basketball players or in a great team. He wanted us to be great human beings. And I think over the course of four years, a lot of people molded from boys to men and a lot of them great men. Metro State now has one less coaching vacancy as Daniel Hangstepper was in the new tennis coaches past month. Hangstepper was previously the assistant coach at Midwestern State University in Wichita Falls, Texas where he was named the Intercollegiate Tennis Association South Central Region Men's Assistant Coach of the Year in 2013. During his time in the Lone Star State, he helped the Mustangs win the Lone Star Conference, the NCAA Regional Tournament, earning a trip to the Elite Eight. He helped the women's team advance to the Sweet 16 after also winning the regional title, helping both squads to the top 20 national ranking. Hank Steffer replaces 12-year tennis veteran Beck Mears, who decided to leave for a coaching position to coach in her native land of Australia. We have a couple updates from the construction of the multi-million dollar athletic fields that have been started earlier this year. The complex set just south side of Colfax is starting to take shape. The ten tennis teams got a small glimpse of their new courts as the courts are nearly done. Lights have been installed so matches can take place under the stars and the finished surface is being laid down to give the courts a nice crisp look. Hope is to have the tennis courts finished by the start of the fall sports season. The area where the soccer field is going to go have been leveled and smoothed out and are getting prepared to lay down a synthetic grass that many schools are turning to. Along with the tennis teams, the new complex will be the home for both men's and women's soccer, baseball and softball. From construction outside to construction inside, the school is putting the finishing touches on an upgraded gym for our volleyball and basketball teams. The M bird in the middle of the floor is no more and has been replaced by the school's new updated logo and the school's name has been placed along the sidelines where the team's benches are placed. A dark blue border surrounds the floor with the word Roadrunners lying the baseline under both baskets. The gym is set to reopen within the next week. Now in addition to the new floors, we're also getting new scoreboards that were donated from the Pepsi Center. So things are starting to really look good in that gym. Have you gotten a chance to play on the new gym floor yet? Not yet. Gym is still closed, trying to let everything dry and get settled in. But once it opens, you can bet I'll be there. Oh, definitely. All right. Thank you so much, Kevin.